back for another day of our traveling. Today, we are going to go to France. To France, I wanted to say Paris. To France, so yeah. I think that's gonna be very, um, that's gonna be cool. We're gonna have croissants and baguettes and a lot of cheese because it's France. This Paris shirt on, thought this would go with it. Same with this, I have some pearl earrings in this. So this, so it's my dress up for France outfit, yay! Hope it's fun. Mr. Lizard, you a French little Mr. Lizard, oh yes. What? Oh yes. Watch things. Megan croissants. Yummy croissants for breakfast. So we're about to go board the plane. Um, we're gonna watch a video about France and we're gonna have croissants for breakfast. So that should be good. So these are some books about France. This is a whole kind of set about France. Um, I got, we got some of this stuff from Little Passports. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but it's just kind of a cool thing that sends you a box about a country each month. And we have a poodle. And my parents actually went to France and Paris and they took a lot of pictures of stuff. And this is a giant map of it. This is a book. Got some books about art and stuff. France is located right there. And that is Paris in all its glory. So yeah, we just had breakfast of croissants. They were really good. I showed you the things about France because today we're doing France. And as one of the crafts, we're gonna be making perfume. So we have this alcohol. You can use vodka or rubbing alcohol. Um, all these scents. Um, we have these and little bottles to put them in. And basically we're just gonna be mixing up all set, uh, not all of them, but some of the scents that we think would go good together, adding some glycerin and water, and then putting them in here. And it's just gonna be some nice perfume. So yeah, I mixed all my scents in this cup. It's not very much because they're very strong. We have some alcohol in here. And basically I'm just gonna pour these in. I have a lot of fruity scents like mulberry, mango, strawberry, and orange. So I hope those smell good together. So yeah, just gonna pour it in here. So this is my perfume. I added vanilla, coconut, and some flowery scents. So, and it smells pretty good. So I added glycerin and water, and I put it in this bottle with corked it. I shook it up a lot to mix it. And yeah, that's my perfume. It's from France, or not, yeah, it's from France. So for the second craft we're gonna do today relating to France, we are actually going to be making Eiffel Towers uh, with like different materials that around the house, like paper, uh, spaghetti and marshmallows, a bunch of different things. And the challenge is to try and find as many different ways as you can make the Eiffel Tower. You can draw it, you can build it with a lot of things. There are so many different, and you try and be creative with it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing today. All right, so my ways of doing the Eiffel Tower are done. These are just a few, I'm probably gonna create more later, but these are the ones I did so far. This out of like a 3D printer pen, 3D printer pen. So I like made four sides and then put them all together. This kind of Dotacure one. And this kind of sad little toothpick one. Yeah. That's what I made so far. So cool. The Tuileries Gardens. See, we have some good food. Some cheese, bread, fruit. So yeah, that's what we're gonna have for lunch. Should be yummy. Wow. He's the king, he could kill well, her. Lunch was really good. The bread and butter, it tasted nice with the fruit. And now we're gonna be making chocolate mousse for dessert. 
I made some more Eiffel Tower things, which are cool. So, yeah. But let's go to the chocolate mousse. So, when we made the chocolate mousse, we had to use egg yolks. So, since we're being flunch today, I, we thought we could make some macarons. I think that's how you pronounce it. Macarons. Mac macarons. Not the coconut ones, the French macarons. I'm going to make some raspberry macarons. So, yeah. What we're going to do is, for the macarons, we're going to get two cups. One cup of almond flour and sift it and the powdered and two cups of powdered sugar into a bowl. So okay. this is the sifted powdered sugar and almond flour. It looks like snow. Now we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna lift up the mixer and we're gonna add the three egg whites and a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar into the mixer. Egg whites are already in there. And then we're gonna start mixing on high speed for a little bit, for a little bit. I'll turn it back on for a little bit till it gets more frothy. And then we'll add gradually in the normal white sugar into, and then make it till it's hard peaks. Yeah. Now it's on medium, still very loud. I'm going to add the sugar gradually. See, it's not at peaks yet, it's not done yet, but see how it is starting to get thicker? Wanna add the sugar? Yeah. Now we're gonna let it mix for a while until it gets the stiff peaks, okay? All right, so this is the egg whites. I'm gonna do the head test to see if they're ready. If it falls on my head, it's not gonna be good. Three, two, one. Okay, good. Darn it. <laughs> All right, they're good. So now basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in the snow and the two extracts that we want because these are gonna be raspberry flavored macarons. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so this is the, this is it, it's pretty thick. Now what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna pour it into the piping bag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pipe the macarons. They may have that pattern on them, but they're not going to in a little bit. They're going to flatten themselves out and get rid of that pattern. You want to make them evenly sized. So when you put them together, they'll all go together. You also need to make an even amount. So there's not one more cookie than because they you know, you need to go in pairs. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. All right, so these are the macarons. What I'm gonna do before I let them set for a while, so I'm just gonna kind of bang them against the table so they lose all their bubbles. Do not want them to have bubbles, and this will also make them more even on the top. So yeah, now we're gonna let them sit for a while until they get not hard on top, but till you can touch it and it's not like wet and doesn't stick to your finger. So it has a thin coating over it. Then we're gonna bake them. Yeah. All right, so here are the macarons after about probably an hour-ish of waiting. See, I can touch them and they're still squishy. They're not supposed to be hard, but my finger, it doesn't get any residue and the macaron still has a smooth top. So yeah, you're going to bake them at 300 degrees until either they're able to pop off the pan or for about like 40-ish minutes, like 20, like, yeah, like 20 minutes. So 
And if they don't come off the pan like immediately with a smooth bottom, you can cook them a bit more. But yeah, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna pop them in the oven now. So these are the macarons after they're done baking. See, they have feet and yeah. So peel them off once they've cooled and make the buttercream. So this is the icing, we put it in a piping bag. These are some of the macarons. So I'm gonna take two that are pretty evenly sized. And I'm just gonna pipe kind of like a circle of icing in the middle. I don't want to go all the way to the edge because when I push it down, it's going to press out. And there. So I'm just going to do that with all of them and I'll show you the end result. All right, so these are the macarons. They look really good. And so I'm going to try one. This one. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear, but it was a nice crunch frosting came out but that's normal and I think they taste really good they have a nice raspberry flavor and yeah so we're gonna be having for dessert French macarons so this is the um, baguette we're gonna have for with dinner it's beautiful macarons and then over here we have mashed potatoes yumminess and then, over here, we have chicken. Coco van. Coco van. It's a cool French chicken dish. So, yeah. That's what we're going to be having for dinner, and we're also going to watch a French movie. The Man in the Iron Mask. So, that should be cool. So, it's time to go... Back to the hotel, I guess. And I'm gonna go to bed now. Dinner was really good and so was dessert. Raspberry macarons and the chocolate mousse were good. So yeah, that's it for France. Tomorrow's Italy. Bye, good night.